Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we are solving for 3 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 27 to the power of x. First thing we are going to do here is divide the whole equation by 3 to the power of x. So let's write that out. Divide everything by 3 to the power of x and then it will simplify. So uh, 3 to the power of x will cancel these guys will reduce down to 3 to the power of x, and then 27 to the power of x will reduce down to 9 to the power of x. Next, we are going to change 9 so that it has a base of 3. So 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So we have 1 plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 squared and multiplied by x, 3 to the power of 2x. Now we're going to use exponent properties to pull the 2 out of this equation, or out of that value. So if we add a to the power of bc, in this case 2 and x, we can pull out c, so it would be a to the power of b to the power of c. So we want to pull out this 2 value and leave 3 to the power of x. So if we were to write that out, it would look like 1 plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now the reason we did that is now we can replace 3 to the power of x with an algebraic value, so our alphabetic value. So we'll say 3 to the power of x is equal to u. So in that case we'd have 1 plus u would be equal to u squared. Again if I'm moving too fast, please pause and catch up with taking notes. But now we're going to subtract u and 1 and get this equation equal to 0. So we would have u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can use the quadratic formula to solve for this equation. So if we plugged it into the quadratic formula, we would have u is equal to a negative times a negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, all over 2 times 1. If we were to solve for the square root in here, that would be 5. So this guy simplified here would be the square root of 5. If we simplified it one step further, we would end up with two answers. We would have a 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So let's write that out. We have a u is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So let's move on to a clean slide. Now that we have solved for u, we know that u is also equal to 3 to the power of x which is what we originally substituted it for. So let's plug that back in. We have 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now something to note right away is that we can agree that no value for x will make 3 a negative value, correct? And the right side here we are going to get a negative answer because 1 minus square root of 5 will be negative. So therefore, this is not possible. There is no real solution. So it is not an option. That leaves us with one possible scenario. So in order to solve this, we are going to use the natural log function. So we are going to put both sides natural log of 3 to the power of x and natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And now we're going to use logarithm properties. So if we had log of x to the power of b, we can move that exponent b to the front of the logarithm, so we'd have b times log x. So let's go ahead and do that. We would then have x natural log of 3 is equal to, and that all stays the same. So now, just to get x by itself, we're going to divide by natural log of 3. So we'd have x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 
which is all over natural log of three. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.